Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're going to do multiple identical options in switch statements. Now, uh, if the break statement is omitted from a switch statement's case, the following case statements are executed until a break statement is encountered. If you have multiple inputs with the same output, you can represent them in a switch statement like this. If the case of one, two, or three is equal, then the result is equal to one, two, or three uh, break. So yeah, that just means like if you pass in one, two, or three, then you get this response. Uh, if, if the case is four, then you get four alone. But you need this break statement in there. Well, actually, you don't in this one. But uh, cases for one, two, and three will all produce the same result. Uh, write a switch statement to set the answer for the following ranges. One to three is, is low, uh, four to six is mid, and seven to nine is high. Hmm. You need to have a case statement for each number in the range. <laughs> cool. Okay, so first off, we're just going to write a case statement, a switched statement. And then we want the switch statement to have a val value passed in, which is equal to the value that's in this. Because what we're doing is trying to get here. I'm going to write a quick... We're trying to um, get sequelized, sequentialized sizes to read out console.log uh, sequentialized sequential sizes. And then in the here, let's pass two for the first value. Um, okay, so JavaScript, it's passing me an error because I haven't finished my switch statement. So I want to finish there and then um, we can get after it. So we want to pass in a value to the switch statement. Cool, so now that we have a value passed in, we're just uh, getting the answer is being rendered. The, the uh, function's being called. The answer is being set to empty string. We can make it empty string just to make it a little more clearer. And then the, it's returning the answer, which is equal to empty string. So now we want this switch statement to either read low. We want the switch statement to change the variable of answer to be equal to either low, medium, or high based on the, the cases. So uh, we're here, we can just go case one. If the case is that the value is equal to one, then we do something. But we don't really care yet because we're going to say if case two or case three, then we do the answer is equal to uh, one, two, or three. Okay, so now if we pass in two, we get this out. So sequentialized sizes, we pass in the number two. Two is in here. We set the the string of and we step the variable answer equal to empty string, and then the val which we passed in here, which here is two. It comes down case is two. It doesn't render here, so it just keeps going down this function and it pulls up answer. Answer is set to one, two, or three. This string that says that, and then can we come down here? Answer is no longer empty string. Now it's one, two, or three, and then we respond with the answer. So we just have to do that now for the rest. Um, first off, we want to make that break statement in here. And then, uh, yeah, we're just going to start going case uh, four, case five, and case six. Then we may set the answer is equal to mid. Oh, I see. That was a mistake. I only want this to be low. Uh, yeah, case seven, case eight, case nine, uh, and then we want the answer to be equal to high. And then we're actually not using the default statement here, which is fine. I mean, maybe the tests do it. The test doesn't even test for it, so we could just make uh, the default high and that would probably pass the test as well. But um, yeah, what's the mistake in here? This needs to have a break in it as well, right? Because if we were to pass um, four in right now, we get high. Why is that? It's because our answer here doesn't have a break. So what's happening if in this one? With sequentialized sizes, we pass in four. Four goes to the switch value, sets four. The case becomes four. And then it comes down, we set the answer to high or to mid, but then because we don't have a break statement, we just go to come down to the answer here and set it to high. So the answer was set to mid for a brief moment in history, but then it was switched to high and then it was returned high. So what we need to do is add a break statement in here. We don't need a break statement at the bottom because it's just kind of just re repetitive or redundant. Um, 
yeah, it doesn't make any sense to put that here. And so if we run the test, that should pass. Cool. I hope this helped you guys, and we'll see you in the next lesson.